I'm dead. And the woods ahead lead straight to the gates of Castle Dracula. Beware the wolves that lurk here are loyal. Beware, the wolves that lurk here are loyal to Dracula and will hunt at his command. I, it sounded stupid when I said it the first time. I wasn't really wary of the comma. <laughs> wary. See what I did there? Beware. Wary. Fuck you. Don't play me. Oh, okay. What you gonna do, fat zombie? Fat body, did he lose weight? You're fat shaming the zombie. Good, good. Fuck him. He should lose weight. He should be ashamed. Disgusting pig. Never understood that whole thing. You're fat shaming. It's like, bruh, they're fat. When I was a kid and I got called fat, I was like, oh, I deserve it. I'm fat. You know what I mean? Like, why can't fat people just think like that? Like, oh, I deserve it, right? I'm fat. It's disgusting. Japan's got the right idea when it comes to that. Like, they always make fun of fat people there. I fuck with Japan. Actually, I think just America is the only place that doesn't make fun of fat people because we're a bunch of soft ass soy boy degenerates. Gotta be willing to accept people! No, you gotta be willing to make fun of people so that they better themselves. Alright? It's called being the greatest. And you could be the greatest too if you just was called fat as a kid, got a little bullied. Tell you a little bully and never hurt nobody. Bullying goes a long way to building your character. Stop playing. Stop playing like I can't see that, I right? Chill. And you know, I guess I should recant what I said when I said a little bullying never killed anyone because there was that, you know, that some people have killed themselves. But I feel like, you know, if you kill yourself over getting bullied, that's on you. It's not really the bully's fault. Like, grow up. So what? Get bullied. Deal with it. When I was a kid, I was so fat that people used to poke my stomach. But, and, you know, they were like, oh, he's like the Pillsbury Doughboy, he's so fat. They'd poke my stomach, so I, I, I gave them a run for their money. I learned how to go, and then I became like talk of the town. They were like, yo, poke James's stomach and he'll do the Pillsbury. <laughs> and that's how I made friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to turn your weakness into strength. You know, people don't get it. People soft. People dirt. And I'm not fat anymore. You know why? Because now I know if I'm fat, people are going to poke my stomach and expect me to Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> And I ain't doing it for him no more. You know, those days are over. I retired, Doughboy. I ain't Doughboy. Now I'm... Now I'm fucked! I gotta redo the stage! <sighs> what a bunch of shit. And I do a pretty solid Doughboy, right? You like that? I miss doing that. I, well, maybe I should get fat again. No! Oh yeah, I'm the greatest. What you gonna do? No, no, I don't believe it. That's what I thought. It's like, nah, kid, no way. My Metroid sen senses were going crazy. It was like, wee! Remember the Spider-Man 90s cartoon? That's what happens when I see, like, a secret wall. Like, wee! My fucking shit starts flashing and shit. Can't hide nothing from me. 
Okay, come on, purple skirt. Jesus. What's that? The fuck is that? Oh my god, it's jumping, it looks like a grandma or something. Invisible floor? Yeah. I cannot wait to play through this again. Like, God, this game is so good. My power, it's so strong. The skill, it does nothing. The skill, it does nothing. I really would love to know what the fuck the point of it is. I would like to implement it into my game plan. I'm kind of depressed that I died because I'm gonna have to do this whole stage over again just to, <laughs> you know. Maybe I'll get lucky and I won't find everything this run. That way I can at least have a little something to do, a little scavenger hunt when I come back. You know, be a real fart nugget. You gonna do fat zombie? Oh, I'm gonna eat a cheeseburger. I... Yeah, brother. I know you're gonna eat that cheeseburger. What? In what universe did that not fucking... Okay. Bro. Bro, are you seriously that pathetic, bro? Like, I could... I could actually micro-step back and then keep hitting you during your attack animation. You should be ashamed of yourself and whoever trained you. And I totally should have tried to jump into this wall. Shit. I can almost guarantee there's something in there. The threat of the Medusa heads. You can never count them out. They're Medusa heads. Ah, you really don't even have to put the little fire there. It's so obvious when it's a secret, you know? Like, why would you opt out to use all this delicious space for platforming goodness? Like, obviously there's gonna be a wall there. And we good, we good money. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Cool. That's that shit I like. Last piece of lore. It's a 100% guide with a yapper yapping. Yap it a yap. Don't talk back. Am I gonna make it? Ah! Oh god, this thing. I don't like these things. They they give me anxiety.
this this is this is fucked. I just you know you ever get that feeling of this is fucked? Eh, not that bad. Put my foot in my mouth, huh? Okay. Okay. Net. A little annoyed.net. Just like two, three deaths in a row that were like totally uncalled for. Like. Low to come, honestly. Like a pregnant man emoji. What a load of shit. What is this now? What is coming out of the wall? My sister's ass. Look at it. Never looked better. Say, so, hey, yo, settle down, armored armadildo. Come on, bro. You're not really this easy, bro. Come on, bro. You know, I like this game, but, bro, some of these bosses are just ass. Like, come on, dude, do something to me. Please do something to me. Fuck me up. Transform into a bigger wolf. There we go, that's good. Let the roof cave in on me. It's his only attack. He's got walk at you, armored armadillo, and bitch slap. Come on, bro. I'm about to disrespect you so hard if you don't step it up a notch. I'm about to disrespect you in front of all your friends. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You look better naked, fucking loser. <laughs> 